You all know I have my gold Mario. I've shown this before in video. Lo and behold, the thing that everyone went crazy for, it was sold out, you couldn't find it anywhere. I just walk in the store and boom, there it is, Silver Mario. Just not even trying. There's no crazy line, there's no crowd, it's just a craziness, it's just, oh, hey, there's a Silver Mario, and then that was it. Oh, by the way, oh, here's another one. Okay, two Silver Marios, all right, fine, I'll just get both of them then. I'm gonna take one of them out of the box, that's why I got two, so I can keep one in the box and put one in the display case that I have. Boom, there's two Silver Marios, Pay for a regular price, then you have to pay like 40, 50, 60 dollars for it, just $12.99. So now I got gold Mario, I got silver Mario, I got regular Mario. Oh, dope. Don't worry, that's okay. I dropped the gold Mario. That's alright, I got another one. Okay, stop! Hi, I'm Andre. I'm a black nerd. I am back from a lot of convention traveling, but I'm still gonna do some more. You can check me out at Retropalooza September 26th and 27th in Arlington, Texas. Ding! I got so much mail while I was gone. But there's one box. It says it's from Nintendo. I got a guess of what might be in this thing, but let's find out because if it is what I think it is, I'm gonna be super excited. Here we go. Is it what I think it is? I didn't. Open it up all the way, hold up. You gotta make sure I open up all the sides and kind of how boxes work, Andre, learn. Here it is. Oh, can I, okay, what, no, am I just weak? What's going, oh, there we go. Is it what I think it is? Is it what I think it is? Oh, it is. <laughs> I would have bought this on my own. Like, you know, I'm, I'm Nintendo, I always appreciate that you love me. You give me a little thing every now and then, but this would have been a purchase. You you lost yourself $60. I'm just saying, I would have done this. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Super Mario, Super Mario, Super Mario Maker. I played this at E3, I played this at PAX Prime. I love this game. If I could legally marry a video game, it would probably be Super Mario Maker. Is Nintendo you know, ever gonna make another platformer after this? I mean, this is pretty much it. You just put a bunch of programmers out of business or you maybe have created a bunch of new programmers. You can play, you can create, you can share, and you can do it in four different versions. Mario, Mario 3, Mario World, New Mario, Wii U. I'm gonna go play this until Katie tells me I gotta go play Destiny Taken King. Let's open this up. So, oh, and there it is again. <laughs> Ooh, red. Ooh, red light special. Oh, but this is what I'm excited about. Look at me, I'm just like, yeah, it's a game. Uh, but this book, that's what I'm talking about, yeah. I just love Mario memorabilia. I just always think it's awesome. Happy 30th anniversary, by the way. There you go, Super Mario Maker book that comes with the game. Oh, oh my childhood flashback to little Andre Christmas morning opening up his NES action set and being able to play Super Mario Brothers, which he's already played several times at other people's houses. You have my own version, you turn on that music. Well, first you gotta decide if you wanna play Super Mario Brothers or Duck Hunt. Cause that was the version I had where you had to choose between Mario or Duck Hunt. Oh, this book is amazing. Like, look at that. Look, at, I'm, I'm assuming that's the Mario theme song in musical notes. It'd be funny if it wasn't. I'd <laughs> be like, oh wow, that's the music for um, uh, Destiny the Taken King, which I got that too. Props to Activision. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. It's the Nintendo logo made out of Super Mario sprites. So beautiful. I'm loving this. This is, this is great. Oh man. This is just really cool artwork. I just love the look at that. Oh man, Mario sprites. And I love all the Mario Paint references. I had read somewhere that, that supposedly this was gonna originally be a Mario Paint game, but I love that it has the Mario Paint like layout. I love Mario Paint. Gerard the Completionist, Mario Paint, Half-Baked Gaming. If you went to Indie Pop Con, you know what we're talking about. There's some more artwork. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is gonna be some 10 minute video of me just being like, look at the artwork, Mario jumping. I love the artwork. What the heck? Oh my God, Mario hit a growth spurt. What is going on here? Mario, you've been working out. <laughs> you work out, bro? I just, I can literally look at this book all day. I'm, I know that I should be talking about the game or probably should be playing the game online. I know everyone else has got like videos of them playing the game, playing your levels, making levels. And here I am going, look at this book that, you know, oh, Andre, are you a nerd? I don't know. I'm the dude that's making a six minute video of me looking at a book rather than playing the game. <laughs> you tell me. I'm still doing it. I'm just amazed by this book. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo -hoo! Yeah, that's my that's my centerfold. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Come on, dude. Look at that book. Look at this artwork, man. That's amazing. I love this. People put time into this. I want to respect it, okay? Oh, and look, oh, oh is that Miyamoto's signature? Oh, 
I love this book. Oh, there's a game too. Hold on. I'm sorry, man. I get distracted by pretty pictures. Uh, that's me. I'm like freaking uh, the dog from Up. Squirrel! <laughs> but but like, Mario Sprites! I love his little construction outfit, by the way. I've already seen people cosplay as this. And I've seen people wearing the construction hat. Where'd y'all get that hat from? Is that like a GameStop thing or something? I've just seen people wearing the Mario construction hat. There it is. <laughs> just in case it wasn't in there. Wouldn't it be messed up if Nintendo was like, here's the book, but no disc. <laughs> you get that thing digitally. We got you. We know you're gonna pay for it now, so now we don't have to send it to you anymore. Is it bad that I was so enamored by this Super Mario Maker book that came with the game that I completely missed the fact that there was actually an amiibo in the box. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It is the Super Mario 30th Anniversary Amiibo. Look at him looking so good. This is the classic style with the brown shirt and red pants. There's also a modern style that you can get this red and blue. Cool, classic color. Very, very pretty and very, very heavy too. That's a heavy amiibo, man. It's a me, the thing that will not be found at Christmas time. Woohoo! Thank you, Nintendo. Look, you know, this is no sponsor. You're not paying me for this. I love Nintendo. They know I love Nintendo. So this was like a little bit of a like, hey, thanks for being awesome. And I say, hey, thank you for being awesome. Now, if you could just let me play it without content ID in my footage, that'd be cool too. I'm just saying, there's a lot of Mario Maker gameplay that's gonna happen. Tell, tell the YouTube robot, tell Googlebot, hey man, chill out. Go work on Alphabet or whatever the crap you guys are working on now. If you have made levels, send them to me. At Black Nerd is my Twitter. Hashtag Black Nerd Mario. That's, I don't know why. I just felt like that was something that I could call it. Send me your codes so I can play your levels in Super Mario Maker. And if I ever make a level, which I do plan on at least making one, then I will send it to you and you can check that out. This was a very casually weird unboxing, but you know what? I liked it. This is gonna happen more often. I felt good. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Change up me, y'all.